Ah, to think that I, William Shakespeare, born in 1564 in Stratford-upon-Avon, would be remembered so long after my humble beginnings. My father, a glove-maker, and my mother of gentry stock, could never have imagined the journey I would take. Educated in Latin and literature, I found my love for storytelling early on, but it wasn't until I left Stratford for London that my path truly took shape. London, with its bustling streets and vibrant theatres, became my stage. My early works, comedies, histories, tragedies, won favour with audiences and patrons alike. Romeo and Juliet, Hamlet, Macbeth, all poured forth from my quill, though at the time, I wrote not for posterity but for the applause of the crowds and the success of my acting company, the Lord Chamberlain's men, later the King's men. As I grew older, I returned to Stratford, to New Place, where I lived out my final days in peace. In 1616, death claimed me, but my words refused to die. Though I was buried beneath a stone bearing my own curse against those who might disturb my bones, I live on through my works. I am every character I created, every line spoken on the stage, every echo of the English tongue. I am Shakespeare, and though my body may be dust, my words live on in the hearts and minds of those who hear them.